Hey guys, welcome to Road to Ride. I'm Ladrib. I'm Alex Vanover. Let's fly our sea. Bobby FPV. One of the best parts about flying is flying with other people because when you're flying with your friends, you can push each other, you can challenge each other, you can learn from the skills that they have that you may not have developed so much. When you're flying by yourself, you know, it's really hard to start improving because you don't really have someone else to gauge off of. Mm -hmm. And all of us here really like to push each other competitively, and it's why we enjoy flying with each other so much. So I think it's a great opportunity for us to kind of judge each other a little bit, but in a friendly criticism way. There's no shame in admitting that there's room to grow. I don't ever want to be in a place where I feel like I'm the best pilot I can be. I always want to be looking for new things to try. Maybe it's a new trick to learn, or maybe it's taking a trick I already know how to do and refining it. The possibilities are endless, right? Even consistency can be a factor, like just being able to do the same trick over and over and over again mm -hmm. so that you can do it on demand is really helpful as well. So today we're here at a wonderful tree spot. The lighting is beautiful right now, the beautiful golden hour, so we're going to go ahead and rip and push each other as much as we can. I think all of us are going to be able to find something that we want to improve on and that someone else is going to be able to help them learn. I suck it. Let's make your room skews better. I, ju I just need to like up my rates. Like, no, I I, no nothing. Rates. I fly 480 degrees and I can do Rubik's cubes. I fly 450, but not that much. But I could do it at three. Let's see. You know what? Here, let's let's take a look at your best Rubik's cube. So I'll start by just doing the trick. So here we go. So that's a Rubik's Cube. Now you can ultimately just remember the basis of a Rubik's Cube is half flip, full roll, half flip. It's really what it is. And you can do it with slow rates. I like to do it a little bit like this. I'll show you guys what I've been doing recently. So you know, I'll find a gap or something like that and I'll do it kind of slow. I'll be like, like that. I do love your slow style. It's yeah. very unusual to see a Rubik's Cube done like that. Yeah, that was cool. You a little throttle blip to keep yeah. your... So the biggest thing is just making sure, Bobby, you get full stick. Okay. That's the biggest thing. And start by just practicing stopping. Like, get good at stopping it on a point. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. If you can't stop it on a point, it's just going to be all messy. Once you can do that, then yeah, start, you know, finding a gap or something you can do it through. It's one of my favorite tricks. And of course, like I said, I like to do it real. That takes a little bit of yaw and throttle and timing. Something that can be tricky is to set yourself up for the roll to like stop at the right point. Like something I struggled with when I was doing them is I wouldn't roll enough. Like I would be looking more down at the ground and then I would roll and that wouldn't look right. And then when you go to roll out of it, you have to compensate for it and do more of like a 270, if that makes sense, rather than the 180. Let me show you some with uh, higher rates. You'll end up doing a more like Vanny like that because your rates are slower, are slower yeah. like his. But I think, um, you know, what, what more people are used to seeing is kind of that higher rate. <laughs> half flip, hold it, half flip yep. out. Just get used to that mm -hmm. that idea of kind of like holding it for a second. So you half flip, hold it, and then you're going to throw a roll in there, right? Yeah. So, you know, it's obviously easier if you have some altitude. So if you go way up there, you have so much room for mistakes. Half flip, roll, half flip. And if you really like make it discreet like that, you know, if you have enough air time to half flip, roll, half flip, you know, you can really think it through. Yeah. But, um, you know, another style is to uh, do them quicker together. So you're like, bam, bam, bam. But you know, it gets trickier then. See, I wasn't perfectly on axis, right? Yeah. You know, so it take, it's definitely a practice and muscle memory thing if you want to do them super snappy to get it right where you boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And see, I'm still a little off. It's hard, it's hard to get it. It's just definitely a, it's a refinement thing. That was a good one. You know, I had the fast rate, so I was doing them really snappy, but I do really like Vanover style. So what I have the option to do is I can do them that fast or I can not necessarily go full stick. Like I was yeah. going full stick on all of those just to like show what the snappier version look like. Yeah. But you can use different points at the stick travel. So like I could do Vanny's style where I just would maybe go like half stick and then I could do that slower like boom, yeah, boom, boom. Because I do love that. And I just think it's about like how's the rest of the line looking, what song you fly into, what kind of spot you're doing, yeah. whether you want to go or do more of that like mm, mm, 
Mm-hmm. I think it's just one of those tricks that I like. I've never even tried. <laughs> like, I don't yeah. think I've ever I gone out and just like. You do a Rubik's just try, cube. I, yeah, they never really appealed to me. But I think after like you know you're you're throwing them in there, doing them with a different style, kind of slow. I'm like, yeah, I kind of like Rubik's cubes now. I think it'll be good, even if you don't do them a lot. It's kind of cool to expand your repertoire and what you can do and can't do. Yeah. So I think you know ultimately trying to eliminate the things you can't do and just being able to do everything. It'll make you a better pilot. Nice. And yeah, just the more you practice it, the better you'll get it just like stopping it on a spot, you know? Yeah. Because you're on low rates as well. You gotta like mash the stick, but smoothly mash it. But you know, you, got, you we have to get full stick in because the drone doesn't turn as fast with our slower rates. Yeah. So you have to really get good at just full stick in each corner, but doing it smoothly. That was a little bit Yeah, that was better, but I could hear you I hitting the stick. I think you started in. the roll a little early. Like just do the front flip and give it a beat, then start the roll. Yeah, like like yeah, that. there you go, there it's you go. It's a good hang time, too. I, I need to get, like, my the horizon flatter. Yep. Nah. That, was, that seemed good to me. I think you Boom. need a little yeah. bit. That was a good one. Or what if I can, like, Rubik's Cube into a tribute spin? I mean, like, yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, that's what okay. we were doing, that's what Drew was doing earlier. He was doing a Rubik's Cube into a tribute spin. Like that. What the heck? Wow. That was kind of cool. That was awesome. Yeah, I kind of like that. that combo. Yeah, because like you got to catch it in the right spot. Let's see. Do it again. I don't think I can. Oh, you can do it. And then into it, yeah. Mm, I didn't like that one Yeah, that, that one. kind of like came to a stop. That one did, that did not sound good. I like that combo. I'm going to try to get better at that. Yeah, I got to figure out, fix that stop. Yeah, well, you know, something I was, I was messing with earlier was the Rubik's to Matty, and I feel like that, you know, you don't end up with that natural stop, you know. Right over these trees. Like right there. Boom. That's cool. No, I definitely think you got better at doing the uh, Rubik's Cubes. Just practice. You already can do them. I think I'm more going to practice the Rubik's Cube to Trippy Spin and, like, trying to get that stop not so, like, yeah, defined. I'm going to find, like, 15 degrees right now, and I'm wondering if, uh, like having a higher camera angle would help that transition. I mean, it might, but you know, I think like PWX proved that you do not need that high angle to pull off some crazy I mean, tricks. Yeah, you know, I guess I always hesitate to like change my angle for a certain for trick. Sure. Yeah. Like I'd rather force myself to learn it at the angle I actually fly at, so that I can use it practically rather than being like, oh, I'm gonna do that particular trick. Hold up, let me. I mean, here's a good example of that. When people started doing Matty flips and trippy spins, like this is Matty stunts way back in the day, he was doing it at like 60 degrees angle and everyone kind of ha- thought like, you kind of have to do those tricks with the high angle. But then all of a sudden as freestyle evolved, people were doing those same tricks with the low angle. So I'm with you, Drew. I feel like I don't want to change my setup to do a trick. Mm-hmm. I just want to change the way I fly instead. Probably as usual, the answer is fly better. I was inspired by Pete of X was doing those combo link together things and I've gotten pretty dang good at doing a trippy spin into a Matty flip. But one thing I just have not been able to get is to Matty flip and then link it into a trippy spin. That just, I don't know. I think this is a great set of trees to practice this on, so I'm gonna give it a shot. But can like, you do that trick? Can you Matty flip to trippy spin? Try. Let's do it together. Do it together. Let's yeah. do it together. Maybe let's plug it on Alex too. Why is this guy? Yeah, while well, he's, well, he's flying his four thousand dollar setup. Yeah, How much is that camera? The whole thing is seven grand. Plugging in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's your. Is that just wait? Did you just do it? Yeah. First try. Yeah. No it's drama there. Uh, yeah, I think you can do it first try. Not that well, I'm just gonna warm up. So I mean, I, I can, I can Matty flip. All right, and I can trippy spin. And I can even trippy spin into the tree. So that I just don't get how you do. Oh, I just don't get it. Like, Bobby, what's the motion? I, it's like weird. It's not really a manual flip. I'm kind of thinking of it as entering a backwards dive front flipping because then I'm going straight down and then catching it. Right, Does that make so sense? Gonna, hold on. You know, I think what I'm going to practice is coming from this way, starting to fly backwards, and then, nope, right into the tree. What I think would help is like, so, you know, you're trying to enter the trippy spin in the Matty Flip when your camera is facing straight up. If I'm coming out of the Matty Flip, then I'm coming backwards, right? So I feel like that's kind of the thing. Well, so that's the thing is like, when I'm doing it, I'm never getting to that stage where I'm flat. I'm, 
I'm always 90 degrees to the ground, and then I start the trippy spin right there. Okay, so you It's like a 75% right Matty flip. And then from right there, I'll just... Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh! Yeah, so like, I do want to get back and dive into it. Oh, that's a smart idea. Okay, so rather than even bothering with the Matty flip, so I'm just going to backwards dive. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, that's interesting. That was interesting. To just to just go up and backwards dive it. So just kind of like, boom, look up, dive, 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 trippy spin. Interesting. I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. Here we go. So I just kind of... Matty flip. Backwards dive, trippy. There it is, there it is. Let's oh! go. All right, I mean, I didn't lock into like, you know, lots of spins, but that was a good solid one. Let me go, let me go again, so. Matty. Matty, backwards dive, trippy. Oh! You're low to the ground, nice. Boom, and then I was turned into another Matty. Yo! It was a hawk up there. Whoa! Yo, let's go! Oh. Yes, oh, I feel so accomplished. <laughs> Thank you, Bubby. Who the heck is chewing next to my ear? Yo, I'm gonna try to get a good flight, yo, can you stop? Okay. I do struggle a little bit with power loops. I can Don't do a power loop, yourself. naturally, but like, consistently doing a power loop the way I want it to look on camera, I do struggle with a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, I couldn't just do a power loop over and over and over and over again and keep it consistent. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe that'll help me trying to do that. I've tried in the simulator to just do power loops over and over and over again. I've spent a lot of time in the simulator just burning away at just trying to do over and over and over power loops. That tree. Let me see your power loop that branch. This branch? Yep, right there. All right, he, just, he just did it. Like... You can go back under it. Okay, wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. I didn't approach it. <laughs> was I wasn't prepared. Sorry, here, here we go. There's a ground there. Let's see that. Oh! There's a bush right there. All right, so we found something. <laughs> tight gap. Tight I think, Sean, you're holding too much throttle through the whole power loop. So you're starting it off well, but when you're inverted, you're holding so much throttle that that's why you're like flying into the ground. I kind of think of it more as a flick and then a, instead of a power loop. So well, like, see, I don't like the flicks because like then the you throttle. end up like, well, you let know. Me, let me rephrase that. I flick of the throttle. So yeah, like, it's, like it's still curved though. I don't like that. Like, it's either. not like a. It's like a. So I think you should be smooth on, smooth off. So like you're going, so the throttle should be like, woo, woo. I do feel like it's probably a throttle issue, a throttle management issue, definitely. Yeah, I'm hearing you like you're inverted, and it's still like. Wah! You want to tune in and join, or you want to just get this light? Join one. Join two. More <laughs> spins while looking up at branches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a branch. There's another branch. Look at that branch. Look at that. At least I can do that. As opposed to who? The guy who taught you how to do them? Who? Oh! Me, I made them a tutorial. When? Back in the day. When? What? I said, oh, I just learned how to do a trip. I knew how you to do it at the beginning. I, I was, was born, born knowing how to trip spin. Spin. <laughs> It wasn't my tutorial? No. Okay. I was born Do you know where the name Trippy is? I named the trick. Well, I'm calling it Cyclone from now on, Drew. <laughs> oh! Oh! You and Maddie Stubbs! <laughs> just kind of like fly past it, turn around and fly over it. And do that like faster. Fast but okay. smooth. Like that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Little, and now try to like do it even faster so that you end up cartwheeling over it. Like look over your shoulder, you know? Like a S, like a split S? No, no, no. Go go uh, under it and, and back over it. But instead of power looping, like look up over your shoulder at it. Uh, yeah, yeah, like that. Like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. And now, now make it make it tighter. Make it a more of a perfect okay. circle Let me instead try of that like, again. Yes! And, 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 and um, uh, I think you're you're still heavy on the throttle. Like, I want to hear when you're up over it, throttle should come down, but don't chop it. So, like, yeah. as you're going up, lead off it. Yeah, that was, that was good. That was good. That was good, right, but good. you bled off too quickly. Okay. Yeah. Yes! No, That's go back under really it. really good. Yeah, yeah, Practice yeah, yeah, yeah. also continuing through under it, so it looks like yeah. a, yeah. All right, yeah, I think the off-axis helps a lot. Well, not that time. Yeah, no, because you can stay visual on it the yeah, whole time. I like that. Yeah, the off-axis definitely helps. Picking up little tips of information like that can make a huge difference on learning something. I mean, it's, it's kind of a cool trick in and of itself. Like, I, I do those. It's just an ego thing. I don't want the world to know that I can't do a power loop unless it's in a video. And I got lucky that one time. <laughs> so what, they're going to leave you a mean comment? They're sad in their mom's basement criticizing <laughs> your power loop. You're out here in the beautiful weather having with great friends having a good time. So, and I'm learning Ooh, how to do a power, power loop. loop. Well, <laughs> most of these guys just fly in a sim anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> most, of the, most of the trollers just fly in sims, I'm telling That's you. That's right. Well, 
Oh, there here. it is, there it is. It? Awesome, okay. awesome. Yeah. All right, man, I think go for the loop, man. Yes! Oh, you, you, you kind of, yeah, you sat into it. You, you, yeah. you it doesn't look I think at the way. end, you kind of freaked out and, and, you know, pitched more, but... Oh, that, yeah. you, that was too little. So, in between that one and this one, <laughs> meet it in the middle. Cut it. There it was! Oh, oh but you didn't drop yeah. enough. That was so close! Here we go. Cut it. On it! Yes! Okay. There we go! Did you do it? Woo! Yep. It was yep. it was clean. Nice. It was nice. clean. It was clean. <laughs> it was clean. There you we can go. See That's way what less. I wanted. That's what I wanted. Yeah, but you gotta do it smoother than that. Yeah, I mean, I did it, but I want it That's smooth. Good. So I'm turning a yaw track into a trippy spin. It's pretty good. Cool. It's pretty cool. It's honestly my favorite thing I've seen today. I don't know if I can do that. that is something honestly I can't do. <laughs> the yaw track. <laughs> Boom. Like I could probably I do it, but like I haven't one. ever done it. I was really psyched for that one. I, I think I got it pretty good. No, I think you got one pretty good. Yes. Oh, I don't know how you did not hit that tree. Oh my. You hold it. Woo! Oh, oh come on! on! Oh, that was that such was so a good sick. sequence. Oh, that yaw track that you're doing is really cool, I will say. That's the first <laughs> trick I've seen in a quite a long time where I'm like, ooh, that's nice. Because I've seen you do that trick, and what I like, uh, you know, what I try and do with my tricks is, I don't want to like change up the whole way I fly just to do a trick because it just doesn't ever feel natural to me. Yeah. But what I like to do is find a trick that I'm already doing or good at mm -hmm. and expand upon it. And that yaw track that you do, you do it all the time and it looks so good. So to see you like go into a tree spin, that's the kind of thing that when I'm watching, I'm like, whoa, like I didn't think he was going to do that. The whole surprise element is what's so important to me in freestyle. It's just weird because you like track it and then you have to like settle your back end down and turn it into a spin but but that inverted yaw track I mean have you done can you have you done those I mean it's well within your ability for sure I've, I've done them unintentionally gotcha so what is what happening I, with the I mean I think it's almost easier to just force yourself to do the stick movements and then like reverse engineer it from there so like just go up to your thing and I like to like fly if I'm flying to the left of it just roll away from it and then just push the yaw stick toward towards it towards it I think I got it. let me let me try it Roll right and yaw right. So I'm yeah. going to... Boom. That, I mean, that was it, man. That was it. And like, the faster you go at it, just changes how you know much yaw you have to give. So there you had like a little too much yaw, right? Got it, got it. So I either need you need to go faster down. or slow the yaw down. Because you just want to keep it in the center. A little bit. That I was cool, that was cool. That, yeah. And then it's nice with like a circular object and you know kind of that wide angle because it looks like the object pushes toward and away from you. You know, you're cheating the fisheye. Boom! I kind of like that. Yeah, it's, it's just something that you can like work in. Yeah, I was... So you, you went to the wrong side of it. Yeah, I need to be... So that's It does trip thing. me up to try to roll left and then yaw right, but you could. So you could roll toward it, but I usually roll away from it. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, that's it's nice, cool. man. Especially if you do... So what you were trying to do was go into a trippy. And this I just learned today, so you're gonna already take it and learn the combo of it, and then turn into a trippy right there, Hold yeah. On. Okay, I can do it, I can you do it. You have it, you basically do the yaw track and then let yourself fall, and then catch into it. Let me try it again. Fall into it. Oh, 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 into the corner. It'll be okay. <laughs> no, I, I, let, me, let me try, let me get out. I think I can do this. The falling, it's like I'm trying to keep it smooth, not just like jerk it in. Like yeah. I'm trying to do what you were doing where you're, but you've done it so many more times, you're more comfortable like centering up the tree in frame. That's mm -hmm. the biggest thing with the trick. Yeah. It's keeping the tree or whatever object it is in the center frame. That was good. That, that was, was a good. good one. It's still not the same as the way you do it, but you've also kind of have your own. That's kind of what I was saying. Like I don't like, doing other tricks that aren't natural to me, but if I can kind of evolve them into something like, I would kind of come up and do it like this. And yeah, like see, that looks very different from how I do it. It's right. the same trick, but different. Very different style. I mean, that's what's so cool about FPV, is just get so... Nah, I would try to go to the trippy, but I try, I'm, my instinct you, you is rolling the you. other way, yeah. Trippy it, trippy it, trippy it. Yes, there it is. Yeah, I Boom did it, day. but I want to do it smooth. Let me, yeah. okay, now I got it, now I got it, now I got it. Let Heck me do it yeah. smooth. 
That was cool. That you, was cool. So the thing is, okay, so now I'm I'm figuring out more. You, it's fun to free fall, right? You kind of like have to trust fall for a moment. But you have to have enough room to catch it. So you need uh, to really... That's so cool. Ah, cool. It's, so, it's so cool. It's very cool. I mean, you're doing I it. I did man. it once. It could use some kind smoothing, of. but I mean, you totally did it. I, I mean, and this it. is something like the yaw track is something that I have been doing and refining for a long time. And then to combine it into a trippy spin has been something that's been bounced around my brain for weeks. And then today I finally like grinded a bunch of tries, nailed it, and then you learned the yaw track and the combo in two packs. So I think that's very impressive. <laughs> no, I, I'm happy. I mean, to be fair, I've accidentally done that trick before, but yeah. like I've never done it intentionally. And I think what's weird is it's like you're inverted and you're like, which way do I yaw? And what the biggest thing I learned from doing is like, you need to be thinking about where you're gonna yaw. So like, if you're gonna be yawing and rolling right, you gotta be on the right side of the object. Cause I'm always trying to figure out like, how do I like focus on the object? Right. Cause it seems like I can do the move, but then it's like, it doesn't do anything. Cause I was inverted because I was inverted. We finally found something that Alex isn't like, oh yeah, I invented that. <laughs> hey, 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 come on, don't throw me under the bus. I've been giving a lot of credit to a lot of people recently. Myself, me, I. Absolutely. <laughs>